Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Young Researchers. In previous video, we have discovered how to install Vosphere software and how you can extract the data from Scopus, that is um, uh, well known as Scopus database for plotting the bibliometric graph. In this video, we will cover how you can select the file from your uh, download folder or any folder where you have saved the file in CSV format which we have downloaded in previous video and how you can use that file to create the bibliometric graph uh, in Vosphere software. For that you need to uh, first go to here write um, on search and write as Vosphere. After opening this uh, software it will look like this one okay and here you need to um, select the option of create you can see in the uh, left side there is an option of uh, create so you will click on create option and then it will ask you which graph you want to plot from your data so we need some kind of bibliometric data where we can uh, correlate the keywords or the we can check the co-occurrence of authors and countries and uh, we can plot the graph so we will select second option create a map based upon bibliometric data after that you need to click on next here uh, you uh, you must be very specific about that either you have taken the data from um, google scholar web of science scopus or which um, uh, software or which method you choose to collect the uh, database so we have um, uh, collected the data from uh, scopus in previous video you can also search that data from web of science or you can also uh, check any of the method like you can also download the data from cross reference and and not and all these things but the best method is to check web of science and scopus data uh, if you have checked my previous video about how you can extract the data from scopus you can also easily extract the data from web of science because both uh, profiles have the same format on uh, if you have your web of science account and uh, it is um, um, premium uh, version of web of science then you can also uh, search from web of science about the keywords about the title of the paper and then you can extract the data into the csv or excel file just as we did for scopus okay so since we have scopus based data we will click on yes uh, uh, second option where we will say that yes we have collected the data from scopus after that you will click on next here you need to um, again select which kind of method did you choose for collecting the data so i will click on scopus yes i click on scopus and here uh, you need to uh, click on this browse option once you click on this browse option you will um, uh, be um, a dialog box will be open and you need to select um, uh, from this data so since we have uh, selected the data now save the data in download folder so i will click on downloads so from download option uh, you can see uh, we have updated the um, csv file and then whatever the name of the csv you can select from that you can rename the file according to your ease after clicking or uh, after selecting the file for example uh, if i click uh, select on this file i will click on ok if you need to change the file you can select any according to your choice so once we have selected the file we will click on ok and then we will click on next here uh, you need to be uh, selective about the analysis type if you want to uh, plot the graph in terms of co-authorship that how many authors have uh, published the paper uh, on the same subject then you can select co-authorship or else if you want to check about the co-occurrence of the keywords you can uh, go for the second option so basically um, the co-occurrence of uh, authors for a specific topic it uh, the graphs will look like this one uh, you can compare the list of authors for a specific topic 
but uh, we will discuss about this co-occurrence of authors in coming video here uh, we will focus on co-occurrence of keywords about a specific topic okay so if you are writing a paper about uh, water treatment uh, adsorption and dyes removal then you can um, you need to search the database either scopus or web of science based upon the main keywords of your paper and then uh, once you get um, uh, extracted your file or uh, database file in csv format then you need to uh, select uh, this create graph and then here you will select co-occurrence option and here you can see all keywords so you can also um, optimize the uh, keywords according to your choice i mean if there are some keywords like for uh, ftir sam uh, characterization analysis and all these things so you can only select index keywords just to uh, prioritize your uh, selected keywords of your paper like wastewater treatment adsorption dyes and um, uh, water treatment and pollution like this one okay so if you don't want to be choosy about the keywords you can uh, you can include all the keywords that are relevant to water treatment for example water pollution dyes coloring agents um, methylene blue rhodamine b all these kinds of uh, the keywords that relate to water treatment or else dyes removal from water by absorption then you can select all keywords option okay so it depends on your choice after that you will click on next and again next and then next here you can uh, exclude the keywords that you are not interested in for example if you are not discussing about the heavy metals in your paper then you can exclude this keyword okay and all the keywords for example this is heavy metals and this is heavy metal okay so you can exclude all those keywords that are out of scope of your paper and uh, whatever you want to include on paper you can uh, you need to um, make them as marked or ticked okay so you can uh, select the most appropriate and relative uh, relevant keywords for your paper from here once you exclude the extra keywords you can then uh, click on finish or else if you want to include all the keywords if you think that they are all relevant to your study then keep them as it is and just click on finish after that it is running um, um, all the data and uh, it will plot a graph for you and you can change the uh, shape and format of your graph as well and here you can see the graph has been plotted it is about uh, the main keywords you are seeing here as adsorption nanocomposites polymers contaminated water article chemistry wastewater removal xrd recycling lead compounds like it includes all the keywords that are relevant to adsorption water treatment polymer composite water uh, adsorption mechanism membrane uh, water component drinking water kinetic theory isotherm model polymeric materials and for example if you are selecting about polymer and uh, nano composite it will also select polymer nano composite and biodegradable uh, polymers as well or else you can say like it will also include the some keywords that are relevant to the properties of polymer uh, like biodegradability uh, biocompatibility and um, like uh, applications and all keywords that are relevant to polymer or its nano composite form okay so this is a graph that you have floated from uh, this um, your database and if you want to change this is the network visualization if you change you want to change it into overlay it will look like this one like it, its color will change and it will show uh, that it the data has been um, uh, marked from 2018 to 2022 and if you want to uh, make it as density visualization you can click on this option and it will look like this one it depends on your choice and uh, in density visualization it will show like the major portion the major keyword in all the papers or database that you have um, plotted here is adsorption polymer and nano composite these three keywords are uh, found in uh, like uh, in maximum number of papers as their main keywords rest all other keywords they are also uh, common and many papers are also published on that but these three keywords they occupy the major portion of all the paper research paper and review papers so generally uh, the preferred version is this one that is a network visualization or overlay but uh, i uh, personally re uh, recommend this network visualization because of its different colors and mm -hmm. it doesn't include any uh, year range um, um because since we uh, extract the data from the scopus um, 
um, profile in previous video that was nearly about 20 years data so here in overlay visualization it shows from 2018 to 2022 uh, so these kind of some uh, issues are there so that's why I personally prefer this network visualization okay so the next um, is how you can export how you can save this image as PNG um, on your folder so here um, you can ask you can take the screenshot uh, you can click on screenshot and then you can click on save option and uh, here where you want to save this uh, file you can select you can go to desktop or if you want to save on the download folder you can select uh, you can also select that for example if I want to save on uh, download then uh, I will keep this name as uh, bibliometric graph and then I will click on uh, okay so you can select also select your uh, uh, version here if you want to save in TIFF form or PNG or JPG uh, whatever the version you want to select I will click on uh, PNG it is more suitable and then I will click on save option so the graph will be at, uh, automatically saved to your download folder or whatever the folder you uh, your folder you selected so once I go um, uh, go to my download folder, uh, download and I need, I select this bibliometric graph. You can see it has been saved as uh, PNG form here. So this is a PNG form of the bibliometric analysis, and here you can see this was where is also saved on image in uh, when uh, automatically, and uh, it shows a very good impression if you um, save this image as it is in your paper. Uh, if you can um, if you want to crop this image and want to exclude this uh, the name of software you can also do that but uh, it's better to keep this image as it is you can crop it from sides to uh, minimize the space but I must suggest you to keep the name of the software as it is uh, to, um, to maintain the authenticity uh, and reliability of your uh, data okay so this is all about um, co-occurrence of keywords and uh, plotting the bibliometric graph on Vosphere software in coming video we will uh, discuss the co-occurrence of um, authors and uh, we will uh, in some kind of papers you can also um, you might also have checked about uh, co-occurrence of countries like USA uh, United Kingdom Pakistan India like these kind of uh, uh, bibliometric graphs are also there who um, uh, where they have checked about the co-occurrence of countries and uh, some graphs are there who have checked about the co-occurrence of authors while some others are um, uh, related to the co-occurrence of the keywords as you can see this is the co-occurrence of the authors in the same way there are some graphs that shows the co-occurrence of the countries about a specific topic so we will cover about um, all these types of graphs in coming videos and we will uh, also discuss how you can interpret this kind of graph in uh, your review paper so stay tuned with the young researchers till then Allah Hafiz